um, Nathan, tell us yeah. a little bit about when you started getting into gaming. Uh, what like a full history from the beginning, or just start? Let, let's just start with uh, with RTS playing. Oh, okay. Well, um, I played Warcraft three for like the UK like team, uh, for like uh, on ESL, and like I kind of attended all like the UK qualifiers for Warcraft three. Okay. And, um, were you? Yeah, were you like, were, what, what did you play? Did you play Orc? I'm assuming. No, I played like human. I mean, I played alongside oh. the Muslim and stuff. Yeah, actually, crazy. Uh, okay. I was on the same team as him for a while, but. You know, he was always the better one, and you know he still is now. So, well, maybe maybe you can change that, man. I mean, you're here on the rundown. We've got kind of an impressive lineup this week. Violet here back again. Uh, mm -hmm. Rain from Fnatic, Destiny as well. Um, do you do you think you're going to take games off these players? I mean, how far do you think you can make it? Uh, well, seeing as I got uh, Violet in the first round, I don't think I'm going to make it very far. But you know. I'll try. Hey man, you know, show, I'll try. show some show some confidence here. Let's uh, you know, crack some nerd skulls. You can't uh, you can't go into it and just assume that you're gonna lose, right? Well, I'll try my <laughs> best. You know, I'll try my best. All right. Um. So uh. So Rance, I think Rance has got some questions for you as well. Do we've got? Um. Well, you're putting he's putting me on the spot here. So so loud. Check it out, man. What's your uh, what's your What's your biggest What's your biggest threat race? Who? Which one? Which one do you kind of quake about when you pop into a game? Uh, well, I don't know. Protoss, you know, because you never know what they're doing until it's too late, and then you <laughs> die, and that's it. Nice. So Protoss, maybe actually. That's, Protoss, uh, and uh, what would be your strongest matchup then? Oh, actually, I would say TBZ, but to be honest, I, I don't know. I'm kind of gonna get owned soon, so. Um, I don't know. Did TBZ. It? I think it's quite comfortable. Like it's all about like the kind of micro battles and stuff. So it carries on from Warcraft 3, I feel quite comfortable. I'm glad you're one. into the TVC uh, because there's been quite a few Zerg players come through the tournament last yeah. few weeks, pretty much mm. the top three for the last yeah, month. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> we've, we've actually never had a non-Zerg winner mm. to the tournament. It's true. Yeah, are you, I mean, we're, we're looking forward to some Terran skills there, brother, so uh, I'll try, I'm kind so. of excited. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, uh, if you have, have you uh, checked out the show before at all, Lau, or is this your first time uh, checking it out? Uh, just gonna be honest, you know, like, uh, the StarCraft manager's like, uh, Lau, you're playing in this, and I was like, what is it? Uh, doesn't matter, just turn up and play. So, cool, sorry man. guys, not really been tuning in, but definitely it's, will in the future. Yeah, this is the number eight show. Anyway, we've been doing it for well, weekly for a couple months now yeah. is all. Okay, um, cool. And we've gotten lucky along the way. We've had Violet participate like six of the eight times, and this is Destiny's second in a row, and the Mist is second in a row, and Ver's been here quite a few times. Uh, but then the other four cats on the list, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Gwen, are all brand new this week. So Yeah, actually, um yeah, we, we haven't had we haven't had you. Um uh, we haven't had Puck or Puck. Fnatic Rain or Mook. Yeah. Um so, yeah, I got some new guys in to get owned, is that right? And that's what we like, you know, we like no, it's not about bringing in new guys to get owned. It's more like, okay, these guys can't beat Violet, who can? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like when you're just pitching us like one at a time against Violet, is that it basically? Uh, that's uh, what it ends up being, regardless wow. of what we try to make it. <laughs> it's it's usually if you're if you make it past that semi, chances are you're gonna run into Violet. Although I know Destiny and the Mista both are gonna have something to say about that this week. Um, okay. It looks like it's a pretty tight bracket, man. So where do you uh, if you, since you haven't listened to the previous uh, weeks, you know one thing that we do with our interviews is I like to find out more like beyond the game type of things out of players and some players you know there's two type of plays, players in the world there's uh, the first type is you know they have this big gaming persona and maybe they work at a 7-eleven to <laughs> allow that to happen and they don't want anyone to know uh -huh, yeah. uh, and then there's other gamers that are well I guess there's three types because then there's the full pros that don't have to do anything else Mm -hmm. uh, but then there is this other one that does have like sort of a career and it's usually like Quake players like CZM or something who's like yes I'm also a biochemist and I work in NorCal and then I uh, so uh, I want to open up the floor for you to kind of give us like paint us a picture of of Lao like who like what do you do every day or are, are you how much time do you spend like training for instance uh, well, I might introduce a fourth type of gamer that just sits around and does nothing but play. 
and is it at the pro level, you know? Can we like kind of introduce that? Uh -huh. kind, of, kind of like that right now. I mean, I'm just like playing, you know, sitting around doing nothing. I May mean, I graduate recently, but not really kind of push too hard to go and look for work and stuff. And then what's, um, uh, what city are you from? Um, I would say near Manchester or Manchester in the UK. Uh, it's a bit up north. I mean, I don't know. Is that, <laughs> does that answer the question? Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Uh, yeah. And I really, I probably would have asked you what country, but I like asking what city better. Because then you get okay. answers like, say, the Mista last week. He started telling us about how there were 30 people that lived in his village that he lives in. <laughs> Village, and like, okay. yeah, it's it's crazy, man. His family's got a large farm, you know. So it's kind of like, and that's what I'm sort of getting after with you. Is like, okay, we talked to Zeno last week, who's a, a, a he's from a Chinese family, but they live in the United States right now. And like, Zeno's mm -hmm. parents are pushing him to go to school at Princeton or something. Uh, mm -hmm. You just graduated. Uh, do you? What's your career plan after that? Um, do not sit behind a desk and use a computer for the rest of my life. I don't know, like. Kind of what I'd be doing if I was pro at StarCraft, but in a different context, I guess. Um, I uh, did computer science, so probably end up as a developer or something. Um, if, like, you know, the gaming doesn't take off. Sure, sure. I can dig that, man. Okay. Uh, and then we started the uh, we started the interview a little bit late here, brother. So we might have to uh, might have to cut it here. But uh, okay. I did want to give you an opportunity to shout out anybody you want to shout out, and uh, I I do want to ask you to. Uh, uh, one thing after that too. So give me, give me okay. your shout-outs here, buddy. Shout-outs. I mean, I'd like to thank my team, you know, for you know, uh, kind of signing me up for this, and uh, you know, all the support they're giving me. And that's it, really. Like, like, so what's the question? Uh, do you have any sponsors? Do you have any? Oh yeah. So like, uh, my team, Team Infuse. Sorry, like, should have mentioned that. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to thank Team Infuse and Thermal Take, you know, for all their support. Cool. Okay. And then uh, we always, we like the trolls around here on the Rundown, brother. And what I'm after now is a little smack talk, whatever I can get out of you. Meaning, of these eight players, Violet, Destiny, The Mista, Ver, Puck, Rain, and Mook. Who do you, who do you want to run into in the bracket and, and just murder? Anyone? Well, I don't know. Like, I, play, I don't, I don't want like, you know, I don't really like to disrespect players. I like, you know smack talking them but like once i ran into destiny and uh he got a little upset you know he got a little upset let's put it that way so i don't know i'd like to play him again and see what his reaction is you know uh -huh. i'd probably All like right. be a bit more well behaved seeing as it's kind of public and stuff and when you played so when you played destiny you're saying you got a, he, you gave him a good reason to be to get upset perhaps well he called well i mean yeah i kind of even a, a defeat is a, is a reason <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay well, there you go uh, there's there's probably a ton of rabid Destiny fans in the chat tonight. Yeah, um, I hear I hear though that the weakness of Mass Infester is Mass Drops. Okay, Ooh. yeah, I think I think so too. Okay. Actually, yeah, I like this strategy yeah. here, Quinn. I, I, I think. Uh, drops, what other intel can we give? Drops while are here? drops are difficult to deal with if if you're going Infester, but if you're going Muta, then uh, drops are not quite as potent. They can get shut down a little bit more easily. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. We'll see. Well, right, you'll have so to you'll have to make it through uh, through Violet in the first round. So good luck to you in the first right, round, Lau. Oh boy, you're running into Violet first. Yeah, he's he's playing yeah. Violet okay. first on stream. Even. I'll tell you what, brother. If you win that game, you might just win the whole damn thing. So <laughs> damn straight. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for having me on, guys. Okay, Lau. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, bud. Cool.